Here we go. Cheers. Hello, I'm Don. Welcome to Last Ride Distillery. This is the latest episode in our Last Ride Drinks local series where we take drinks from pop culture, iconic movies, and TV shows and reinvent them with our own products and other local products. If you've missed any of our previous episodes or any of our special Oscar series, the playlists are linked below. Today we are featuring a drink from the cult classic movie, A Clockwork Orange. Love it or hate it, the movie is certainly controversial. Clockwork Orange is a 1971 dystopian crime film adapted, produced, and directed by Stanley Kubrick. And it is based on Anthony Burgess's novel, A Clockwork Orange. The central character, Alex, played by Malcolm McDowell, is a charismatic, antisocial delinquent whose interests include classical music, especially Beethoven, committing rape, theft, and what is termed as ultraviolence. I didn't find Alex to be particularly charismatic. Alex is the leader of his small group of droogs, which is a Russian word for friend or buddy. But these guys are basically thugs. Pete is played by Michael Tarn. George is played by James Marcus. And Dim is played by Warren Clark. The film follows the violent and disturbing crime spree of the droogs. Through Alex's capture and the attempted rehabilitation through experimental psychological conditioning government techniques. The violence begins one night after drugs become intoxicated on a drug-laden milk plus. They engage in ultraviolence, which includes a fight with a rival gang, beating someone to the point of crippling him for life, and rape. The ultraviolence escalates, and Alex is eventually arrested by the police, sentenced to 14 years in prison for murder. While in prison, Alex accepts an offer to participate in the government's experimental therapy, which rehabilitates criminals within two weeks. The treatment is successful and Alex is released from prison. He behaves like a model citizen, though not through his own choice. His goodness is involuntary. He has become the titular clockwork orange, organic on the outside, mechanical on the inside. Fortunately or unfortunately, he eventually returns to his former self. The film uses violent imaging and symbolism to make many political and moral commentary on psychiatry, juvenile delinquency, youth gangs and other social, political and economic subjects in the dystopian near future Britain. We are not going to make a politi any political or moral commentary. In fact, we're here to try to help you forget the politics. Today's drink, the Moloko Plus, was invented by Morgan Schick at Trick Dog in San Francisco. In the movie, Alex and his droogs drank Milk Plus to fortify themselves before engaging in ultraviolence. There is no adrenochrome, Velocet or other drugs in our version. So into a shaker filled with ice, which I will now fill with ice. We will pour half ounce of beer schnapps. Half ounce of honey bee elixir. Now if you'd like, you can use mezcal or tequila instead of beer schnapps. One bar spoon of simple syrup. Bear with me, this is a complicated drink. Two dashes of Dylan's orange bitters. One, two. I'm going to use two ounces of our black strap, which is an unaged rum. Two ounces of cardamom and cinnamon flavored tea. And finally, one ounce of milk. If you want, you can replace the tea and milk by making your own cardamom milk. The recipe is linked below.
put it in my top deck. I'm looking for my shaker top. We're almost there. Thank you. Now we're going to give it a good shake. Now, into the glass, strain. twist. And we're going to top it off with champagne. We're gonna use a straw for this. Now, you notice we're using a plastic straw. We haven't got ourselves an eco straw, but if the company out there called Last Straw would like to send us a bamboo one, we use that. Wow, that's really good. You notice that it separates. That's natural. Almost sounds like more social commentary, just saying. We put the orange twist in. You can garnish with orange after if you'd like. Terrific. This might also be good served hot. Today we have two for one for you. There's another drink coming. We're also going to reinvent a clockwork orange martini. The inspiration for this recipe is from making it with Moran. The channel is linked below. Let's go watch them. They make good stuff. So into a shaker with ice. Always with the ice. We're going to pour one ounce of vodka, but this is orange infused vodka. This is our vodka and we've used uh, one bar spoon of orange concentrate with one ounce of vodka. Next, one half ounce of Cointreau. One ounce of ginger ale. And finally, one half ounce of milk. Strain into a martini glass. Cheers. Wow, that's delicious. That's really good. I think I like that better than that. Just saying, but that's my opinion. Our recipes and the original inspirations are linked below. So that wraps up this episode of Last Draw Drinks Local. Be sure to join us next week for our next epic pop culture movie drink. From the entire Last Draw family, this is Don saying thanks for watching our Clockwork Orange episode. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give it a like. Let us know if you've tried either of these recipes. Tell us if you've seen the movie and what you thought of it. Remember, we are not movie reviewers. We are here to reinvent drinks. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and remember to drink responsibly drink locally. They didn't say it isn't cut yet. The Moloko Plus was invented by Morgan Schick at Tick Dog.
<laughs> One second. Actually, it's already measured. I don't have to measure it. <laughs> Get it out quick. Oh, I thought it was measured. <laughs> I love the editorial voice. <laughs> okay. One ounce of the orange concentrate with the vodka. Oh, 